Dear brothers and sisters, the Holy Church has entered into the Passion Week. We have entered together with Christ into Jerusalem. We just celebrated the Palm Sunday with palms and branches. We were greeting the King of the Universe to enter into this holy city of God, the city of Jerusalem, to reveal, to accomplish his mission and his mission was the mission of Messiah taking upon himself the sins of the whole world and rescuing us from bondage of death and slavery and this was done in a very strange way because he did not possess power he did not take influence and throne and did not call people to become some political party, <clears throat> but he was surrendered and betrayed and <clears throat> uh, beaten, humiliated and crucified, and he died. And then he rose, he resurrected on the third day, winging over death and sin. And uh, we, when we recall these things, we also recall that at the same day, the Lord enters the Jerusalem. Pontius Pilate, the governor of that region of Palestine, came from Caesarea uh, of Palestine. And this, uh, uh, the, that was the capital at that time. And he came also to Jerusalem. Maybe he came to fix this issue of uh, uh, the uh, re uh, revolt of uh, Barabbas, who was who killed someone and he was put in prison. Maybe he came because of the Pesach, the Pascha, which was coming, Jewish feast. We don't know exactly for which reason he came, but he also entered into Jerusalem, maybe a different, uh, through different gates. And uh, this makes us uh, think of uh, how do we relate to political issues and power. Because uh, this time, the world is in turmoil. We know with this great reset, uh, they are saying that for about five years, maybe more, the world will be shaking from all kinds of political uh, turmoil, uh, revolts, um, rallies, revolutions. We saw this happening last year that began in the United States and uh, there will be much more because of social tension that um, uh, leaks out and many other things. As soon as this uh, quarantine is, uh, lif uh, is lifted, these regulations, uh, people will begin doing all kinds of crazy things. Okay? And um, uh, this um, uh, requires us to think deeply how do we, whom do we support, whom do we um, criticize, okay, which part do we take. Um, and uh, uh, we need to think deeply about this because um, we will discover that if we take ourselves and say I am socialist or say I am capitalist, I am Democrat, I am Republican, I am some party, okay, I am, I am this. Basically, you have not yet understood the meaning of Christian faith, okay? Uh, because Christian, for him, God is, Christ is on the first place, and uh, uh, he takes everything that comes from Christ as absolute truth. But everything that happens in this world is very relative. And uh, Satan is using these politics. He divides people in order to conquer the world. And if we divide ourselves like this, we believe that I am, okay, I am Democrat uh, or whatever, okay, then we uh, basically are used by him in his job, in his play, in his game. Okay, and uh, uh, okay, 
but this doesn't mean that we should not care about politics. Now, many people, they say, oh, I don't care about any politics, whatever. No, uh, it's not Christian way. So this, today we will talk about this. Uh, maybe about a month ago, I already had a video on this. If you, I recommend also look uh, into it. But today we will uh, talk about it from a different angle. Uh, first of all, uh, we see that uh, every political turmoil that happens, okay, brings some people in prison and some people dead. Some families broken and many, a lot of suffering. And uh, this is what happens when we are uh, entering into this game of politics. So uh, we need to uh, understand that this is uh, some game and it has its rules. And if we enter into it, we will have to play these rules. For example, say you uh, support some party. Okay. In case this party gets into power, it will have to deal with its uh, adversary, political opponent. It will have to exile some people, some put some people in prison, and maybe even kill some people. Okay, uh, okay, punishment or something else. Okay, and um, even if it doesn't do some of these things, it has to be ready to do it. Okay, in the heart, it already has this decision that if needed, I will do it. Okay. <clears throat> and also, in order to get to this power, very often you need violence and uh, you need to shed blood. So, <clears throat> we uh, know that this, that this, uh, you have to receive this. If you play this game, you need to be ready to play it till the end, okay? And you will do these uh, things. Uh, so, it's 100% cynical. You have to be a cynic, okay? And you have to... Uh, have a different logic that uh, your political opponent you destroy him you use all kinds of ways means to destroy him politically or physically okay there is no space for love or enemies the commandment that Jesus gave to us okay there is no uh, room for that uh, <clears throat> so it's like you are in a yard where the rules are everybody kicks uh, each other and whoever wins uh, he gets everything. So if you are dropped into that uh, place, into that yard, you either also kick others, okay, or they'll kick you and you'll be down and you'll be out. There is no other, you cannot tell him about the uh, high values and some, uh, some good things, it's just hitting each other, okay. It may be nice words, acting like uh, you're a very nice man, but actually it's, it's a very tough game, okay, you hit each other, okay, and kill each other. So, uh, you will have to play by these games, by these rules, okay. So, uh, if we are really uh, struggling to get into some kind of uh, influence, political influence, this is what we will have to play, this is kind of game. So, <clears throat> uh, I will explain what's the way it doesn't mean that we are not participating at all okay but uh, our participation in this is very different okay um, another thing that we need to know that uh, any system any ism capitalism communism socialism uh, trotskyism stalinism uh, all of that uh, there is no absolute truth in that. Those are all tools of the devil, okay? That people uh, fight with each other. Some people feel that this is more true, some people feel that this is more true, and they are fighting and fighting. And in the end, the Satan wins, okay? And, okay, rules the, 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 the world. <coughs> so uh, we should not feel that something is absolute truth. It's socialism or it's communism or something else uh, that it's absolute truth. No, it's all relative. Okay, it's all relative. We know we need to understand what those things are, but we need to know that there is no absolute truth in either of these: democracy, authoritarian, authoritarianism. Okay, uh, we support democracy, but we see them that 
it becomes authoritarian, we support authoritarian and they use democracy to introduce uh, some anti-Christian things like LGBT. It's, it's all, okay, it can be used by the devil. It will be, he is very smart, okay. So uh, no matter what we support, we will lose, okay. Um, uh, so this is why I said if you really believe that you are something, okay, you are some ism, you are not really uh, understanding what Christian faith is all about. Okay, so we keep distance from all these things, but we need to understand. We need to understand them, okay? Uh, so that they, it's not they use us, but we can use them. And I will uh, get to this in a minute, okay? <clears throat> uh, what we can do as Christians? Okay, to be uh, faithful to Christ and to uh, be his, uh, okay, his instruments. First of all, we need to grow spiritually. We need to improve our spiritual life. This is what makes a uh, difference. Okay? This is how we can make a difference. And uh, uh, we will be detached from this uh, uh, seduction. Okay? That okay, some uh, political thing is happening, and uh, right away we think, oh, this is true, and we rush into it, and we support something, and we'll make a mistake, and we are caught by a devil. Okay, uh, we will uh, have this wisdom. Uh, okay, not so much attached to worldly things, to some benefits, social programs, social agendas, policies that they discuss. Okay, we're not so much attached to this, and also uh, we are not. Our world view is different, okay, than theirs. So this is uh, what we gain when we have high spiritual. Okay, then we we are have spiritual life. We're really following Christ. Uh, another thing that we can do is to see, to observe what's happening, to understand better, okay, what kind of people and what kind of. Uh, isms there are and uh, what uh, what is their agenda and stuff okay we need to um, grow in that uh, conscience okay but uh, we have a different perspective on it than uh, regular people uh, also the third is that we need not to think that okay i will do something i will do something we just need uh, in terms of political thing we just need to uh, trust that Christ, that the Lord, can use us when He needs, if needed. Maybe even to have a, some big political change happen, like uh, saints. Some saints were used by God, and many uh, b big things, even empires, became Christian. Okay, uh, but uh, it's not that uh, we need to pursue it so much. Okay, it is the Lord. He will know how to use it and when. And he will do it. Okay, if he doesn't, okay, we our conscience is clear. Okay, because we want to gain his kingdom in our hearts and in people around us to be his uh, witnesses, not witnesses of some ism. Okay, and uh, the last thing, which is very important, super important, is that uh, as as we became chosen by him, we stand on this way. We step on this path of uh, being uh, Orthodox Christians. We, uh, our life becomes very precious in His eyes, and we cannot just use it for something uh, unimportant, something like relative, for some uh, political agenda. Okay, uh, rallying, then we are put into prison. Our time, our freedom is taken. We cannot do any testimony, or uh, we even lose our life because we are killed by some stone in some rally. Okay? This is not what the Lord... And the Lord will not have to protect us, because we ourselves chose something else. Okay? So we should not uh, waste ourselves, our life, our, our time, our freedom, in order for some kind of uh, political agenda. Okay? Uh, <clears throat> we can die for our friends if their life is in danger. Yes, we should be ready for that. We can die for Christ, for testimony about Him. Yes, we, can, we should be ready to die for Him, but not for some political agenda. Okay? 
So uh, this is very important. And um, uh, so let us ask our Lord to give us wisdom, to um, um, give us knowledge how to act, uh, what to do. Okay, and we need to know that we witnessing about Him is the most important goal in our life, and nothing else is so important. May Lord bless every one of you. I give you blessing, and give you wisdom. I mean.